Welcome. So my name is Peter Strong and I provide online therapy via Skype. If you're looking for a Skype therapist to help you manage anxiety or depression or to work with addiction or to work with intrusive thoughts or emotional trauma, uh, I am available to help. Please look at my website and uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions about uh, working with a Skype therapist. Skype therapy is a very convenient uh, way of getting the help that you need. Um, we use Skype so that you can see each other. That's really important for uh, quality uh, psychotherapy. You need to see each other. Uh, but other than that, there's no difference between uh, seeing a therapist uh, via Skype um, or seeing a therapist in person. The quality of uh, psychotherapy, of uh, teaching and uh, transmitting uh, methods for working with anxiety and depression is just as effective uh, when done via Skype as it is in person. For many people, uh, the Skype therapy option is the um, most preferred option because it's much more comfortable for you. It's much easier. Um, it's much less intimidating than going to see a therapist in an office. Um, the whole point of psychotherapy is to help you overcome your anxiety or depression um, and to learn the methods to do that. Um, and it is not to uh, look for a treatment-based approach. Medications are not an effective treatment for anxiety or depression. They simply suppress symptoms. You need to learn how to work with your emotions at the psychological level. And that's what I teach during these uh, online Skype therapy sessions. If you'd like to learn more, then please go to my website and feel free to email me with any questions you may have. So I specialize in mindfulness therapy. Uh, this is a very effective form of cognitive therapy. Uh, it's the next stage after CBT uh, and the focus is primarily on working at the emotional level, not just working with thoughts but working with the emotions underneath the thoughts. Um, it's very effective and most people uh, see substantial improvements uh, after a a few sessions with me uh, when they start to apply the methods that I will be teaching. We have to learn how to fundamentally change our relationship to our thoughts and to our emotions. We have to start developing more mindfulness, more conscious awareness and less reactive identification and reactivity in general towards our uh, emotional pain. If you react to anxiety or depression, you simply make it worse. If you react to trauma, you tend to make that worse. What we need to do is learn how to not react to our emotions, and this then opens up um, a space that allows healing to occur. So non-reactivity is the first most essential uh, method and strategy that um, I'll be teaching you during these Skype therapy sessions. We then learn to develop more advanced uh, qualities to our relationship with our emotions that are based on compassion and uh, kindness and uh, friendliness 
and other qualities that allow uh, healing to occur. Reactivity prevents healing, but a mindful relationship based on friendliness and compassion and non-reactivity promotes healing. So if you'd like to learn more about uh, working with me uh, on your particular emotional pain, whether it's anxiety or depression or intrusive thoughts uh, or traumatic memories um, or addiction, then do please contact me and let's set up a Skype therapy session. Thank you.